bunch of sets, but if you take any finite number of them and you in intersect them, if those are all non-empty, those intersections, then in fact the entire collection has a non-empty intersection. So if any finite subcollection has non-empty intersection, then the intersection of all of them is not empty. You should see this theorem as a generalization of what theorem you've seen before. Nested interval theorem, closed intervals are compact. Isn't it true for nested intervals, if you take any collection of finitely many of them, their intersection's clearly not empty? Because it's just the smallest one, right? And the conclusion there was there's a point in all of them. That's the conclusion here. Okay? So this generalizes nested interval theorem. And it's true for arbitrary metric spaces, not just uh, intervals in Rn. Okay, let's see what the proof is. Proof is uh, actually not too bad. Um, and I claim. You know, this is a statement about compact sets, right? Compact sets are cl 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 closed. So their complements are open. So this is really a statement about open sets. Let's let u alpha be the, the uh, complement of k alpha. And these are open. OK? Now, if this intersection of the k alphas were empty, I claim their complements would cover everything. Because if a point is in the intersection, that means that point is not in any of the complements, right? So if there's no point in any intersection, then every point must be in some complement, which is in one of these things. So. Um, this is the, the key insight. I'm going to fix, if you don't mind, some k in k alpha. I'm going to pick my favorite compact set. I don't care which one. Fix one. I'll call it k. Okay. Now, the thing to notice is if the intersection of k alpha over alpha is were empty, then the u alpha, I claim, cover that one particular set. If the intersections were empty, then this thing would cover not only the whole space, but this set, which we know to be compact. Ah, OK. But what does that mean? That means there exists a finite what? Subcover, I might as well call it u alpha sub 1 through u alpha sub n covering k. Yes? Oh, but what does that mean? Well, I claim that means if these things all cover k, that means k's intersection with their complements, uh, k intersection k alpha 1, intersect k alpha n must be empty, which is a con contradicts the hypothesis. So this is a proof by contradiction. So by contradiction, for the sake of contradiction, we assumed if this were empty, we get um, this statement, which is a contradiction. Contradicting the hypothesis. So um, what we have here is uh, basically a uh, another way to think about compactness in terms of a finite intersection property instead of a uh, a union of um, open sets which cover. Uh, a compact set. Here we have basically uh, a bunch of compact sets uh, whose, which have a finite intersection property 
then their entire intersection must be non-empty. Okay. A classic example of this is something called the Cantor set, which, um, which uh, we will talk about a little more next time. Okay.